Well? Free city of Novograd. The name actually used to mean something. The very reason so many mages came here after the massacre at Loch Muin. Thought they'd be safe from Radovid's reapers. Instead, they jumped out of the frying pan into the fire. But Novigrad stands on top of a mountain of coin. And winning a war takes three things. Coin, coin, and even more coin. Judging by what Klug said, the parcel should be around here on the bottom. Unless the poor man was mistaken. He's been forgetful ever since Manga interrogated him. Seems to be suffering from a persecution complex, too. The current must have carried the sack seaward. I'll swim towards the port. Coming with? But maybe some other time. Don't know what you're missing. Water's thick with pungent oils. Guessing it'll do wonders for my complexion. Find the parcel? Or did you get wet for no reason? Nothing like a refreshing swim in a filthy canal. Found a few fish, a rusty anchor, the carcass of a boat. Oh, and this. Oh, my package. Hope the contents aren't soaked through. Oh, you're a doll. Seem to be in your element. Still remember my elements? How I use them? Come on. Six months isn't that long. It's not like I'm senile. But you do have a history of amnesia. I've recovered my memory completely. Good. That should stop people from taking advantage of you. Someone's been taking advantage of me. I have, for one. I've never even intimated. We need to hurry. Greetings, sorceress. Greetings, Brandon. I didn't expect you to bring company. Tris, you told this man you're a sorceress? Of course. She was looking for work. That's her chief asset. Are you, Tris? I know it was reckless, but competition's stiff here. No one would hire me if I claimed to be a common rat catcher. More importantly, no one would believe such a beauty could be an exterminator of rodents. But I'd prefer you not to tarry and begin. Tris, you and Brandon here. You've agreed a price. We settled on a full coin purse. Brandon & Co. is a serious outfit. We've the largest granary in all Novigrad. You're a merchant, familiar with how commerce works? Of course. Honest pay for honest work. Half up front, half once the job's done. You're asking a great deal. I'm a witcher. Gotta admit, I've met my share of people who say one thing beforehand, another after the fact. Hmm. Very well. Your first installment. We need to place these crystals around the granary, near anything that looks rat-related. <coughs> I'll cover half the space. You take the other half. Look for evidence of rat activity. Mm-hmm. Thing is, I know what evidence of manticore activity looks like. But rodents? Geralt, we'd both rather be somewhere else. I'd rather be sitting in a royal council meeting. But they killed my king. Look for crevices. And draw things. Once we place this incense, what then? I'll cast a spell and the rats will leave. 
Can't do that without sprinkling incense? Don't really feel up to looking for rat shit. Stop whining. Looks like a good spot. I don't like that guy. Brandon? I don't either. He's much too fat. Can't help but agree. But no. Notice how he didn't try to haggle? Must really want the rats out. Triss, he's a merchant. He makes his living by haggling. If I worried about that sort of thing, I'd starve to death in this city. every hole in there. All right. Get ready for some magic fireworks. Once I activate the sense, we'll have a moment to talk. Well, now we wait for them to scurry away. Interesting method. Never had much luck with rats. Once, I hit one with a fork in complete darkness, trying to show off my witcher's senses. Masterful throw, really. Problem was, no one else saw it. How could they in the dark? <laughs> so, what do you think? Rat catcher? It's a long way to fall from being advisor to Temerius King. I'm just glad to see you safe and sound, and... Reconciled? I knew a man once who reacted to everything, especially adversity, by mocking it. Healthy attitude. He must have lived long. Came a day he lost both his legs in battle. He shrugged, said it was better that way. He'd never feel pain in them again. I understand him perfectly. I know. Thing is, he was lying to himself. I think he just didn't have much of a choice. You could be right. But only he knows the truth. We're only ever the ones to know the truth about ourselves. Which we share at times with those we hold dear. Even if it's hard to swallow? Even then. Who knows? Maybe one day. So, tell me how Yen's doing? How do you know I found her? You didn't answer my question. How's Yen? Don't know yet. Asking about anything specific? Never mind. I got my answer. Birds having themselves a little chat instead of working. The job's done. Geralt, those are. I know who they are, Triss. My friends begged me to notify them if I encountered a mage, sorceress, what have you. I didn't have the heart to refuse. It's a trap, Geralt. This stank from the start. Let's agree your friends were never here. Now pay the rest and let's part in peace. You don't set the terms, mutant. Stay out of it. We're here for the witch. We're inseparable, see? Afraid you'll have to take us both. Geralt! If you say so. All right, we've talked. Do what you gotta. Just remember, I can't help but get in your way. Heard enough from this horse, son. As have I. Neither is to leave here alive. 
Kill me. Good sir, no. They forced me. Had I not told them, they'd have set fire to my home, my warehouse. The mage hunters know no mercy. Spare me, good man. Be not like those murderers. Shut up. I should kill you. Thing is, you'd be no good to anyone but the gulls as a corpse. So you'll live and pay us double. Now. Fine. Your coin. Now, get. Thanks, Geralt. You should try to keep better company. He was still better than some mages. You know, I've been thinking who might know something about Ciri. And I just got an idea. There's an Oniromancer in town, Kareem Tilly. Very capable, supposedly. Never trusted in Dreamer's abilities myself. Kareen's been very effective. You should at least try. She's taken a job close by. Follow the canal away from the fish market. The house is near the first bridge. Its owner, Dijon Kier, is a rich banker. Not coming with me? I've got some things to take care of. Another rat infested warehouse? Not exactly. Nothing even remotely satisfying. Such are the times. It was nice to see you again. You too, Geralt. You should go now, before Corrine goes back into hiding somewhere. What if I want to find you? I live in the bits, near the fish market. Stop by. It'd be nice. All right. See you later. Happened to Faultist again. Ah! Why? Uh. Deliver us from here, Phil. Mm. Oh, you can all go suck a day. Oh! oh day and he fixes it. No. Not come to the room. What do you have on offer? Redanian dumplings, speciality of the house, heartily recommended. Blimey. A vat gun in my establishment? It can't be. How do you know I'm a witcher? You joking? Silver blades, who else uses them? Crafted in Mahakam, am I right? Must be about 40 inches long? 40 and a half. Still impressed. You're something of an expert, evidently. I'm Ibir Hattori, former master swordsmith. Currently, a master of dumplings. Geralt of Rivia. A pleasure, Geralt. How might I help you? Care to try a dumpling? Looking for a good swordsmith. No one. <laughs> Three swords on your back. A bit much, don't you think? Good one. But all jests aside, you make swords anymore? Really? It's dumplings now. I must make a living. But I miss the hammer, anvil, and bellows. Oh, the heat of the forge. Were it not for that swiving Van Horn. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, I shan't greet a witcher with dumplings. Come, let me show you something.
Quite a collection. Premium quality, too. Thank you. I've kept these as mementos. Damn shame you don't make them anymore. I'd gladly replace what I have with this kind of steel. Someone with your skills? Why the hell are you needing dough? This might surprise you. The pay is better. But above all, it's much safer. Food vendors rarely disappear or end up as cripples. I see. Someone controlling Novigrad's smithing market? Not officially, though... All supplies go through Ernst Van Horn. And they say he plays cards with Cleaver, frequently. Ernst Van Horn, who's that? Modest beginnings, a small dockside workshop. However, he proved extremely ambitious. He knew he could not compete with other sword makers on skill alone, so he resorted to other methods. Other methods? A bit of slander here. Buying business debt cheaply and taking over there. And whenever the competition was a plowing non-human, he'd accuse them of being Havocars. Is that how he did you in? I did not give up without a fight. I went to Town Hall, negotiated. Alas, it was all in vain. He'd already enlisted Cleaver's protection. And in Novigrad, few dare get in Cleaver's way. Tried negotiating? Making a deal? With Van Horn? Do you jest? He's a proper heartless bastard. Either play by his rules and pay him, or go out of business. Hmm, I see. But I shan't complain. Dumplings have proven an excellent source of income. It's just... well... You miss the heat of the forge. Tried getting supplies from someone else? Those rogues of the underworld control all the sources. How am I to talk to them? Unless... Would you be willing to help me? Want me to help you get your supplies? How? Just come with me to a meeting. As my bodyguard, it'll bolster my confidence. Truth be told, not so long ago, I tried negotiating some iron deliveries with one of the King of Beggars' men. Right. King wouldn't worry about an embargo Cleaver imposed. It's just... He demanded an inordinately large share of the profits. I thought you might help me negotiate. I don't mean gratis. I'm certain we can agree on a fee. Could I... choose something from your collection? Oh, forget this rubbish. I shall forge you a sword fit for killing gods. I don't know. Criminal underworld. Not really sure I want to meddle with them. I badly need your help. Van Horn is a Van Horsen. He must be taught a lesson. I'd be eternally grateful. Plate armor, yours. Or perhaps you'd like a catapult or a, a trebuchet. Fine. Arrange the meeting. Splendid. Meet me after dark, near the crane at the docks. Open up. Mm -hmm. What are you offering? Oh, 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 oh gosh, the reapers come for me. You tried to be a smart ass. Ah. Oh! Ah! Uh, our world will burn! Burn! 
Uh, your uh, knees uh, before the eternal fire. Uh, oh, whole day wasted. Uh, uh, That's just talk. Open up. Sick. Sick of it. What are you offering? See you. And terrible version you hunch, white boy. Istre. What was his name? Val Istre. Ah! Looking for. Just passing by, wanderer, or do you seek something specific? Who's asking? Rudolf de Jonkier. Of those de Jonkiers, yes. My ancestors laid the foundations of this city. I now own its largest bank. Didn't need a recommendation. Name would have been enough. Father always said, all ought to know your merits, son. Don't hide them under a bushel. I'm looking for Corrine Tilly. Oh, you've come to the right place, then. Kareen is inside. Been there for a few days, dreaming the home's history. Why do you need to know the house's history? You a historian, or on a whim? I bought this property a short while ago. Paid a pretty penny, I might add. Soon after, I witnessed... disturbances. Led me to fear the home might be haunted. What are the symptoms? Oh, they vary. Giggling. Furniture moving about in the attic, and last week... Well, you shan't believe it. I found human feces in the parlor. Not interested in what's going on inside? Seeing it for yourself? I'm a banker. Cursed homes scare me. Do you know how a haunting can affect property value? Point of fact, Corinne requested she not be disturbed. I'd like to go inside, look around. I don't usually let strangers rummage around my home. Twin swords, though. You're a witcher. You may enter. Call that my whim.
Wake up. It's just a dream. Wake up. The doll. The attic. Blood! Don't spill it! Please! Stop! Go away! Don't do that! Leave it! Please, that's blood. Don't spill it. Please. Another masterpiece. An oven and a blackened grate. No oh, joy. The riddle. Saw an oven in the cellar. Maybe I'll find another clue there. Stop! Go away! Did I scare you? Scared you, didn't I? I can tell you were scared. Big brave man scared of wee little Sarah. Ain't that funny? I wouldn't do that anymore if I were you, Sarah. You might scare someone so bad they'll hurt you. Why would someone hurt me? Having a spot of fun's not allowed anymore. What are you playing? That lady fell asleep, and I've sent her some horrible dreams. I'll not her wake, neither. I can do that, you know. Funny, isn't it? Very funny. Thing is, I gotta talk to the dreamer. So I'd like you to let her wake up. Little Sarah doesn't want her to wake. Little Sarah wants to play. You're lucky. I know you're a harmless godling, but others might not know, and then... And how'd you know I'm a godling, eh? How's that, eh? Eh? If it looks like one and acts like one, trust me. You're a godling. You give the dreamer nightmares and won't let her wake up. 
Why are you tormenting her? I'm not tormenting anyone. Scary dreams are great. What I love is when this big hen chases me. Hen's got this red... Why do you live in a haunted house? Tell you the secret. <laughs> the house ain't haunted. Not one bit. I just pretend it is. Make everyone think that. It was sitting there all empty. So I moved in. Bigwig from the bank then came and bought it. I don't like bankers, especially not to live with. So I decided to give him a scare. Gave the banker a really big scare. See, he paid a lot for this house and won't give it up easily, which is why you need to find another home. I don't want to! I don't! I won't! Sarah, Novigrad's no place for a godling. But if you want to live here, that's your business. So let's make a deal. A deal? What kind? Leave the dreamer alone. In exchange, I'll tell the banker the house is haunted. For good, no way to lift the curse. You tell him that? What if he doesn't believe you? I'm a witcher. He'll believe me. Yes! 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 Do that and I promise not to bother your friend. Not even a little. You're awfully nice, you know. I don't hear that often. Thanks. Now go wake that sleepyhead. I won't stop her. She'll get up. Who are you? Triss Marigold sent me to see you. Gods. Horrible nightmares. I was supposed to dream the history of this house. Instead, I saw furniture. Hungry furniture that wished to devour me. I know it must sound foolish. But in the dream... Well, it was all too real. And not at all amusing. The work of a godling. She made people believe the house was haunted. Also injected your dreams with her little jokes. And you managed to wake me. I feel fortunate. We witchers have our ways. I thank you very much. The dreams, they were awful. Any way I can pay you back? There is, actually. I'm looking for a young woman who was seen in Novigrad. I can certainly try to help. But I'll need to clear my head first. After those deranged dreams, I feel it's full of cobwebs. Find me at the Golden Sturgeon. I rent a room there. All right. See you there. I saw Miss Corrine leave, but she refused to speak to me. Is the matter resolved? Or quite the opposite? A bit of both. A demon had captured Kareen. I managed to free her, but the house is still haunted. Did Kareen dream of the building's past? Yeah. Pretty horrid, apparently. Though she refused to talk about it. Nobody should inhabit the place. So many crowns I paid! Oh, well. It shan't put me in the poorhouse. The truth is, we're already... Oh! Ah. Ooh. Oh! Ah. Need something sharpened, reforged. What do you have on offer?
The challenger seeks to subdue Pile Driver. La 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 la. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, just ain't money. Make a fine sailor. Ah, I look no glove. A dream in here. Never witnessed a seance like this before, let alone participated. I will guide you. You must first achieve a kind of mental accord. I must ask some questions. You must answer them. It's important you're truthful. Answer from your heart. Let's begin. To start with, tell me a memory you have of this woman. What for? Do as I ask, please. I need the strongest, most complete memory you have of... Siri. The woman's name is Siri. Siri was orphaned during the Second War with Nilfgaard. I had no idea what to do with a young girl. So I did what I would have done with a boy and took her to Kaer Morhen. Figured some physical training, sword work, development of her stamina, couldn't hurt. I remember her standing on a crumbling wall. A stone came loose. She lost her footing. Caught her at the last possible instant. The strongest memory, though, is of her coming out of her room one day, wearing a dress and claiming she was indisposed. Knew then that Siri was maturing. It was unavoidable. I was lost in the face of that. I see. Do you wish to tell me anything more? Yes, I think so. In that case, I'm listening. It was after her time training at Kaer Morhen. After the moment when Yennefer first called Ciri her daughter. We'd been separated. I knew she was in danger. I'd dreamt of her multiple times. I found her at Stiga Castle. She'd gone there to free Yen and gotten herself captured in the process. They wanted to hurt her. I remember fighting side by side with Ciri on stairs, slippery from blood. It was the first time she ever deflected a crossbow bolt with her sword. I told her never to try it again. These memories, they're intense. Do you wish to continue? No. Let's continue. You claim the woman has abilities. Tell me about them. She's a child of the Elder Blood. A descendant of Bloody Falker? The rebel burned at the stake. The prophecies claim the world's destroyer will be born of the Firebrand's cursed blood. Pure legend. Know when a legend transforms into prophecy? When it gains believers? I think you're right to be reticent in talking about the woman. I see. Do you wish to say more? something else they call Siri the lady of space and time once I asked Jennifer why she travels between worlds <laughs> turns out I don't know how to talk about it didn't really understand much of what Yen told me I just know there's more to it than traveling to different places and that Siri carries immense power in her blood I see. Do you wish to say more? No. Can we start? Naturally. I knew you cared about her. But your tone, the emotions you so carefully conceal. Let's continue, please. Make yourself comfortable and try to relax. You must take my hand and talk of Siri. Tell me where you think she might be. Who could be at her side? Mm -hmm. 
If Siri couldn't find me, I'm sure she would have looked for another friend. Who do you mean? Maybe Dandelion. They liked each other a lot. of a swallow at first. After that, just nightmares. At times, the dreams can multiply. Show the past as well as the future. The swallow. It symbolizes Ciri. She contacted Dandelion. I didn't know he was in town. The poet? Heard about him. Someone left him the rosemary and thyme in their will. The rosemary and thyme? Where's that? As you enter the city through the red light district, you come upon a bridge. The rosemary is just past it. Dandelion inherited a brothel? So I've heard. Thanks for your help. Good luck, Witcher. I hope you find your Siri. Slimy about you, to my mind. Ram, ah. ram, time huh? again. I'd kill for some vodka. Why'd your hair go white? Fuck off. 